Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. This is Josh, and um, I did my project on Coulomb's Law and Ionization Energy with reference to photoelectron spectroscopy. <laughs> and uh, here are a few key terms. Coulomb's Law is a law of physics that describes forces, attra forces interacting between static electrically charged particles. Ionization energy is uh, the amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron, the valence electron of an isolated gaseous atom to form a cation. And electronegativity is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract a bonding pair of electrons. And um, here are some more key terms. Uh, Photo emission spectroscopy uh, refers to energy measurement of electrons emitted from solids, gases, or liquids by the photoelectric effect in order to determine the binding energies of electrons in a substance. And ionization enthalpy, that's just um, the closer the electrons are to the nucleus of the atom, the higher the atom's ionization energy. And um, this just talks about first ionization energy and second ionization energy and third. And um, as you can tell on the product side, it's a plus one and a two plus and three plus. So it turns to a cation. And then here I uh, found this picture that shows the trend of ionization energy. Uh, it increases up and to the right. You can see, boop, boop. and um, and this is a graph of first ionization energy in the atomic number. So these are all the uh the elements, and um, this shows how much energy is needed to ionize it. And this is just uh some light that's coming in and then it's hitting the metal and then the light causes the metal to to uh lose that electron or electrons. So light's coming in, the electron pops off. And this is the same for this one right here too. Light comes in or energy comes in, hits the metal and then the electron comes off. And this just like tells the uh the amount of energy that the electron is using to fix to remove from the metal. And uh, this is the FRQ I found. Um just read the question and yeah. Alright, um so it says which element is most metallic in character and explain your reasoning. And I said element two is because um Metals have a tendency to lose electrons easily. So in the first ionization energy, so right here, it's the lowest out of all of them, right? And then second ionization energy is like this big jump, right? And then third is a big jump too. So yeah. This is identify element three. And then, as you can see in element three, how these two are pretty close, and then this one's like way off. And these two are the valence electrons, so they can, uh, they are more likely to, or they don't take as much energy to remove them than a third electron that's closer to the nucleus. So this is magnesium. And then the next question is, um, complete the electron configuration of element three. And we already figured out that element three is magnesium. So that would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2. Uh, and it says a neutral atom of which of the four has the smallest radius. So the neutral atom would be element one because 
all of them because uh the ionization energy they're all pretty much going up around a, uh, like a little over a thousand each time so like there isn't a big drastic change and um also this has the highest first ionization energy so it's the smallest radius yep all right guys thanks